Ten years ago? Who would have thought your streaming surround sound of a live orchestra? Played back in real time over very high quality remote audio systems. We did this all in about two weeks. So when they hit play, our Pro Tools system went into play and we saw it against the picture. It's warm and instantly recognizable. You know, we don't have to be in the same room anymore. We can be anywhere in the world now. It's a really incredible time to be working being together while we're apart. Source elements. Recording the Synchron Stage Orchestra was incredibly moving. As a composer, it's been a lifelong dream to work with orchestras. And being able to do that remotely means that you get to experience the intimacy of an orchestra while sitting in your own room with your own headphones. I'm a trained composer before I became a technology uh, developer. One of the things that is most extraordinary about what I do is being able to hear very, very high quality musicians played back in real time over very high quality remote audio systems. This project started because we have this documentary that we wanted to prepare for the AES conference. What we don't have as a company is a bumper which goes at the top and tail of uh, videos, for example, we put on YouTube. So we decided let's get a bumper made Pull in an animation team, then we need a songwriter, a composer. Hey, let's get the Synchron Stage Orchestra to do it for us. And, and they agreed. And we have a scoring mixer, and we need some ADR, and then we need a VO talent, and all of this pulling together. We did this all in about two weeks. I can't believe that this actually worked. This was such a quick turnaround because you've got, you know, a pretty big team of people, and some people are doing the, the video side and then like all the other stuff that's going on. I was like literally on a Zoom call with everybody and I had this like little da 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 like in the back of my mind while I was on the phone with them and I was like, yeah, I think I've got an idea and like I'll send you something in a couple of hours and that's like literally what happened, you know. The one thing that's hard when you're a musician working remotely is you're missing a lot of information about what's happening uh, around you because that's now virtual. What kind of technology and processes can we implement to really make us comfortable and confident about being together online? Everything's remote, so we have multiple clients. They're all in separate locations and the talent is in a different location. All the different things we made that were for one purpose, review and approval, remote voice acquisition or recording. Now all those different modes are happening at the same time um, out of necessity. So that was the first session we've done with the new gateway and we were using it alongside Source Connect Pro X for multi-channel. So we had 5.1 streaming of the orchestra back to Chicago for uh, monitoring in uh, the score and the rest of us were on the gateway having a stereo down mix. And then we also got to see the live video of the animation while the orchestra was playing to it. I've worked closely before with like different orchestras and I've usually been in the same room with, you know, whoever the music director is or the, comp or the conductor, and you can like show the score to them. So, so we have a, a location in Germany, Austria, uh, Portugal, London, and Chicago all in the session, right? The workflow basically was we had a number of people connected. So everyone was talking with each other over what we call the gateway or the Source Live gateway, which is um, like your traditional uh, web chat. So everyone was 
conversing there. The orchestra was using our source live software to stream the um, stereo audio, and that was to everyone except for us. We were, um, they were also running Source Connect Pro X on their Pro Tools rig and feeding us um, surround of the orchestra along with um, transport lock so that our system locked to theirs. So they were running two systems. Uh, but the nice thing about using the gateway is that really no one had to worry about cross-patching all the communications, which used to be a setup in the past. The gateway simplifies that tremendously. So it's just a traditional call or web chat in a sense, and then everyone's listening to their end, to their, the stream that they're delivered to either our, us on Source Connect, Pro X and Surround, or everyone else with the, with the live stream. Who would have thought you're streaming surround sound of a live orchestra? Yes. Again, I've worked with like some fantastic uh, people, but nothing touches what I just heard today. It was just like in incredible. Today we had um, the voice record for the Source Elements opening sequence that we're building. The voice talent was Somerset in Melbourne, Australia. Mike was recording everything in London and I was supervising over here in Chicago. The way the session was set up, Mike was connected to Somerset using Source Connect. Okay, it's logging in, check the settings are correct. Yes, my input's getting there. Mike had picture in his Pro Tools system, but then he made an RTL, a remote timeline file, that was essentially a mirror of his Pro Tools timeline, except in a small deliverable application that's easy for Somerset to open. The application asks me to name the zip file it creates and where I want to save it. It then asks me to password protect the encrypted video file for file safety and transit security. I then send this file to the remote end via my preferred method of file transfer. She just has to drag and drop the file onto the timeline application and it opens up the movie that gave Somerset the same picture on her computer. The only difference is that now Mike is in control of Somerset's playback from his Pro Tools system. Okay, I'm going to click send in my RTS now. So if you click receive in your RTL. So if I hit play. Yeah, I can see it. Excellent, so that's working nicely, good. Mike is transmitting his picture from Pro Tools over Source Live LL, which I can pick up in a web browser gateway, similar to, you know, to a chat room. And I can see the picture, any music and other sound effects that he's playing back, as well as the real-time record of Somerset, again, in perfect sync, because Mike's receiving it in sync from Somerset. There's a Source Connect connection, very high quality, and if there's a a bump or a bandwidth glitch on the internet that causes a, a small problem that is fixed by the auto restore system. So everything's guaranteed to be a clean, perfect recording. When I hit record in my local Pro Tools, the VO mic feed is recorded in my local Pro Tools audio files folder. The remote queue manager knows what has been sent and checks with my local queue manager that it has all been received. If there is a wobbly in the internet, and the VO transmission is inadvertently affected, and I suffer packet loss, my local queue manager spots this and tells the remote queue manager that I'm missing information. The remote queue manager then sends this missing information via an FTP site, and this missing data is automatically restored in the background into my audio files folder. OK, let's have a little go through and a, and a take and see how we get on. So playing from the top. When Mike initiates record, the first thing that happens is that Somerset's video playback goes into position and starts rolling, and she performs against the video that she's seeing. The world is a melting pot of ideas. Her performance comes back to Mike over the internet on Source Connect, and then his Pro Tools system rolls or chases Somerset, so he's recording her in exact sync to his picture in the same place where she performed against her picture. Source elements. That was a really nice read. On the gateway, there's a meeting room or a chat meeting room so that we can talk. Mike and I can talk with each other. Let's try playback, Robert, what, of, of the last take. I've just moved it, put it into position. Great, let's, let's hear it. 
Mike is feeding that chat back into Pro Tools using Source Nexus, which is essentially a plugin that lives in Pro Tools that can pull audio in and send audio to any other application. In this case, the web browser, which is where Mike and I are chatting. So now Mike is taking my voice from the web browser, feeding it into Pro Tools and through Nexus, sending it to Somerset so she can hear me. And now we're all hearing each other as if we're in the same room together. Be a part, create together, source elements. Love it. That was great. Good for you, Somerset. Yeah, that was cool. We were able to direct yeah. Somerset with the right reading and, and tone. And um, really, at that point, it's as much as possible like a session where everyone's in the same studio, except we have literally the entire globe covered. Let's have another crack at the, uh, the improved script now. Ready. OK, yes. everyone ready? Record, approve, and monitor in real time from anywhere. Be a part. Create together. Source elements. Okay, well, that was a nice read. Let me just review it. Okay, I'm going to play this back to you. And we're going to review mode. Create together. Source elements. I thought that fit really well. Yeah, well done, Somerset. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, I'll disconnect from you now. Thanks, Somerset. Take care. Bye bye. That went really well. That was very successful. For sure. Yeah, literally around the globe, right? Australia, Chicago, and London. Pretty Indeed. amazing. Yeah, it's, it's great. Great to be a part of it. The world is a melting pot of ideas. Robert uses Source Live LL to connect and interact with Joe the Composer, also in Chicago, and me in London. Source Live LL has two main parts. The program stream with HD video and stereo audio and the gateway video chat with webcam and conference audio. Pro Tools feeds the program stream with audio and HD video and Robert's talkback and webcam are sent to the gateway. Joe and I each have a webcam and talkback to join in the three-way gateway and separate outputs to hear the high-quality program audio. Uh, how are you feeling overall about the mix? Any, like, uh, Joe, as far as elements go, the strings versus timpani, etc.? It sounds really good. Let's just watch it through because I scooted everything. Mm. Okay. Let's see. I think it still holds together, actually. Yeah, it does. Okay, so that's in. Let me move the sound effects now. Create together. Source elements. Bingo. Best of both worlds. Again, it sounds really good, guys. And, and like, it looks really good, the picture. Really Joe, you had nothing to do with it at all, man. I'm... <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just... <laughs> Meanwhile, Rebecca Wilson has taken a well-earned break from her mammoth vehicular trek from Portugal to Spain, parked off in a supermarket car park in the middle of deepest, darkest Nowheresville, Portugal, and joined us on the gateway with her iPhone from her mobile studio for a critical watch and listen. Yeah, another opinion. I know, I know that you're, you're traveling, Rebecca, in a car, <laughs> making this especially fun here. Um, are, are there other just big concerns that, that, that you're seeing or hearing, more importantly? We... But I don't think we need any watery, droppy sound effects at the end. OK, stand by. Source elements. I like it so much, I, 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 I have to say. That. And we really get to hear her voice, and it's a beautiful way that she says it, and it's open, and I love it. Joe, what's your thoughts? I, I agree completely. I love it. Yeah. I'm in a car right now watching a beautiful, like, full HD trailer with perfect music. This is amazing. Bye, Robert. Bye, Mike. Bye. 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 Bye, Rebecca. I think we have it, right? I'll be working with you and Mike, Robert. Thank you, guys. What's really great in your product is that you get everything in one tool. 
when the music starts, you should never think about the technique. So if, you, if you're doing a good job as an engineer, you don't have to uh, care about the technique when you're recording the music, then you're just talking about music. And you've been doing remote sessions for many years. You certainly have that experience. The whole product has to work perfectly because every everyone has a different approach uh, to the session. So the, 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 the composer and the orchestrator want to chat with each other. Um, the engineer has to see that the video is streaming correctly to, to the other clients. So everything has really fit together very, very well. I really didn't find anything different than how I would have worked actually in real life. Uh, because we had that correct, uh, direct connection to the conductor uh, and he could actually hear everything I said. I could hear the orchestra with absolute clarity as if I were in this space. And the communication uh, with him was just like I was sitting there. So there was, there was really no difference. Maybe the only difference is that we couldn't drink beer with the musicians after. <laughs> The advantage is just that you can hear everything so well because I could absolutely understand exactly what it sounded like. And then on that basis, I could give further feedback to him, you know, oh, that doesn't work. Or maybe more, more, uh, more, more high harmonics, more ponticello on the, you know, on the, on the low strings, something like that. Because the sound was so good, I could actually hear a little bit of the nervous tittles and I could also hear what they were saying, you know? And at one point, I think one of the, the violin players, they want us to do what? <laughs> what? Who are they? That's jazz. Yeah, yeah exactly. You know, I, there's this thing that you miss sometimes with remote work that you can't really feel the energy in the room. But in this context, maybe because the sound was so good, I could really feel that. I could pick up the cues of their voices and, and in the sound, I could really feel that they became really confident with all of all of the source elements folks, really strange requests for them to do. Yeah. So, so you, you were effectively in the control room, even though you were in another part of Germany. I just wanted to thank you so much for um, helping bring this music to life. Um, oh, it was I my pleasure. This is the first time that I personally have been involved in a production like this. So I'm usually on the technology side and we learned an incredible amount and all of that is going to really come out into our uh, new products. When we're working online together, there is definitely the issue of latency. We're still delayed by latency. So there's some things that we can't do right now. We can't react to each other in real time. So we're listening and responding. That works very well for reviewing and approval. It works fantastic. The next step, the really big challenge, is how can we play music together? And that's going to be a big focus going forward. The world is a melting pot of ideas. Access and connect to the global creative village with our innovative and collaborative solutions. Change your paradigm. Be a part. Create together. Source elements. The most exciting thing is seeing people using it. I mean, all kinds of different projects from music to film to just podcasting and interviews and broadcasting. It's a really incredible time to be working in this, knowing that the tools we're building today are really going to be tools that we're using in the future. elements.